Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Mixed Mowers and today's episode we're going to take a little look at a Honda Izzy. Um, so long story short, uh, my mate Luke is a professional grass cutter. He has a little tiny Honda Izzy that he gets um, down the side of little tiny houses because uh, around my way the gardens are quite small in certain areas and he's got a big Honda HRX 476 but the um, it's too big to get down the side edges. So he's got a little Honda 16 inch um, cut but the deck um, was completely rusted through. So he asked me what his, what his options were. Um, the bulk of the options are buy a brand new one for like 500 quid, buy a good second hand one for 250, or buy a, a cheap runner for like 90 quid. Um, but the Honda Izzy's do tend to hold their money quite well. I think it's just because of the Honda engine, despite the decks are not very good. So uh, we come up with a solution, and that was for him to buy a, um, a new deck off of eBay, which is, is gone done. There's a brand new deck, a bit dusty, a bit of a shed. Brand new deck, and I've hammerated um, the underneath to give it some more protection. However, <clears throat> when, um, before I um, checked it, I'd hammerated it, and it soon became very apparent that he'd actually bought the wrong deck. He had bought one for a 16 inch, not a 17 and a half inch. So because I had painted it, I couldn't take it back. Um, so a bit of a shame. So since then we've been on the hunt for a little tiny Honda Izzy 16 inch cut. And uh, every time I go on to eBay or selling sites, they're getting snapped up for silly, silly, silly money. Um, however, I was very successful um, today. And I picked up a nice little Honda Izzy with a blown deck, uh, 16 inch cut. Um, the engine doesn't run, I don't think. Uh, I'll have to check that out a bit later on. But um, I'm hoping to do a straight transfer swap, axles off, bag, flap, all that sort of stuff, and get a brand new Honda Izzy up and running, ready for the season. So without further ado, let's get down and dirty. Let's check out this little Honda Izzy and see if we can't do a bit of a deck swap. Okay, and here's the little Honda Izzy. As you can see, big hole in the deck. The deck's absolutely smashed, um, which is where they tend to go here and tend to go right at the back. Um, so I picked this up. Um, it wasn't very local. In fact, I had to drive quite a way to go and get it. Uh, about an hour's drive each way. But without picking up, um, I would never be able to um, continue with this project and Luke is waiting for his mower to come back. So let me turn the fuel off. We'll give you that engine a run later on. I'm not particularly interested in the engine. It's, it's the, uh, the axles I'm after because Luke's got his own engine just down yonder. So I'm gonna be needing quite a few parts off of this. I'm gonna be needing all the back flap, the handlebars, the wheels, all that sort of good stuff. I did check the um, the deck earlier on of the blade, and it is definitely a 16 inch deck, so that's the one I'm after. Um, we do a 17 and a half inch, um, 17 and a half inch um, deck with a 17 inch blade, and it's the 16 I was after. So it is the right one, thank the Lord, which is cool. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the engine off first. I'm not overly concerned about the engine, as I say, for now. Just literally want to get this get the deck apart. All that sort of good stuff. The grass box is in really good condition. And that grass box should fit this brand new deck when it's all on and in place. Let me just put that up there. And this little tiny grass box will fit just in there somehow. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it fits lovely. So it is actually the right deck because a grass box on Luke's old one wouldn't have fitted. So that's good. We've got the right, the right bit of equipment this time. So quite a biggish job, quite time consuming to do, but um, either way, um, we should be able to get through this quite quite quickly um, and quite efficiently. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna disconnect the handles. They can come straight off. Don't need them. Take the dead man's handle off, which will be around the other side. That's all gonna come off and be fitted to the, um, the, the new deck. I'm gonna get a decent tray. So I, or in fact, I might use this, I've got a jug here with a, a small rags in it. I'm gonna put these bits in here just for now, just so I keep it all together. So I don't lose nothing. Otherwise we'd be in trouble. If you start losing bits. Let me turn this lawnmower around so that I can see um, the throttle assembly. So I'll take all that off as well. Uh, we've got Phillips screw, and a dead man. So I set up along those pliers to begin with. 
and a Phillips screwdriver to undo the throttle. Right, that's the throttle off, and now I've got to uh, take your dead man off. So squeeze them in, because we've been right in the way, but got to get hold of it. Push the two tabs in, and then uh, tease that back. Out that comes. All right, that's that done. I can now remove the handles off the machine. That one, and that should now just pop off like so. So those handles will be used on the, uh, on the new deck because they're the right size. The other ones were no good to me because they're 17 inch and crossed. Fuel's turned off. I can take the back flap off in a minute, not a problem. I'll get this engine off first. Um, in fact, in fact, I can leave the engine on because I need the, the axles and the wheels. I can leave that engine on. I need the blade. Um, Let's have a quick little look at this um, axle, and it's going to be if you come down here, it's going to be a little tiny uh, 13 mil bolt there and there. That's what holds all this together. I can then take the axle off complete rather than mucking about with um, taking the wheels and what have you. So, let me get a little bucket to put under this engine to try and support it a bit more so it's not all together on the ground try there and I want a little 13 mil uh, spanner and ratchet Another 13 mil to hold it in place. I'm not worried about the fuel or the oil in this lump. I can sort all that out later. Places. Let's turn this back up the right way around. Perfect. Oh, adjustment there, but I've got one on the other on the other machine. I've got two spacers, two nuts. I'm going to jump. It's cool. Now we can go onto the back flap, which should have a little tiny star clip just here. 
and long noses. That shot off over there, I know roughly where it went. I'll go and pick it up in a minute. They do shoot off, I've got some star ones if not. Hammer and a punch. comes off with a spring. Quite straightforward. There's a back one to do here as well, which I struggled with last time to get that off. <clears throat> but uh, we're now gonna tip the engine back up again and get these back wheels off. And again, it's going to be achieved by undoing 13 mil there, little tiny nut. That's why I want a 13 mil on the flip side of it to hold that steady. Boy ain't doing very well at the minute. I think he's just so bored. No matter what I do, it's not, not good enough for him. But I think that's the same all over in the current state of play with this, this pandemic. So I'm, I'm trying to keep busy, trying to keep my own, my own brain occupied and busy, but uh, I think he's struggling too. advantage by doing it this way is you don't lose all the wheels and bits and pieces it all comes off together sort of thing you know that's, it. that's a general idea don't lose the bits and pieces that's the back wheels I'm going to try and remove this blade now if I can let the old spark plug HT lead off Try and get that off. I've got, I've got a bit of air in the old gun. We can use a gun. Can't we? Let me just fire up my old uh, impact gun. Right, I've got my impact. Be about a 14 mil. Give or take. That's a 13. That's a 14. Yeah, it's going to be that one. With a little bit of uh, assistance. well on there because I don't want to be rounding this off now so I want the blade blade's got to come off which it does Two ticks. Just had a fella text me, he wants a lawnmower desperately. He's uh, got lots of vulnerable older people. He wants to cut their lawns for them, what have you. He's a professional guy, his mower's gone down, so he wants to know whether he can buy one off of me. Or if I can repair, it, repair his mower, so. 
I doubt the phone will ring shortly. He seems to be quite desperate. So. Nice to be able to provide a service. Right, what we got? Blade bolts. That's the blade now off. Which is all good. And blade is actually oh, not too shabby. Yeah, not too shabby at all. Okay. Uh, next is to remove this back flap. Now, as I say, I have had issues with these before. Trying to get these flaps off is no easy thing. I can assure you. Because they come with a stupid clip on the end. Now, what I did, I think, last time was I attacked that with a grinder and then put a star clip on the end of it because you just can't get to it. It only comes off one side. So I may just attack it with a grinder first, or maybe a set of snips. I might just be able to pierce the sides of it off to break the seal. I can't really remember how I did it last time. But they're just stupid bits of metal. I don't think you can get a flat end driver behind it. But I'd be glad to get this this little whizzy out the shed. It's been here for a little while. Well, that might be coming, don't you know? That might be easing out. They were a pickle last time I did this. There it goes. Did it snap off? No, it's good. All right, so that comes out. That comes out, that comes off. Because he wanted the flap. Because he likes it for striping to a degree. Okay. Right, what a winner. That's now that whole thing taken apart, best I need to. So we'll now get the um the other deck on. Right. I think we're there. Um so we'll start where we left off. Back flap on first. hold that pin off and give it a bit of a wallop. Yeah, he's coming around in a minute to have his mower fixed. He said he's desperate, so. They're all desperate. That goes on there. A little tiny nut that side. And then the same Ooh, on this one here. It's going to be that one. and put the spacer in. The spacer goes on the outside of the deck. A little bit of prying.
bit fiddly. He's got to get these bolts in the same right place. That's it like that. Once they're lined up fully here, you can then slide this one into this position. Is the theory without scratching, without scratching the deck up, of course. Let me loosen that off a touch more. thing is it all goes on the inside. See, we've got to have a be a bit ambidextrous here. Uh, patience of a saint. And we all know what my patients are like. So what I'm gonna try and do is try and fish that in with a pair of long nose pliers and turn it and then slowly edge that in. To about there. and then that on there and we do them two up and that should be the back axle then fitted got the first one in which was not easy and I've put a little tiny nut on there now just to hold that stop it from moving about quite so freely it was a bit of a hectic day so Mrs P had a blowout on her car so I had to go and sort that out Dumb about that, really, but uh, I hope what it is. I'm gonna walk down, pick a car up, and put that in the old garage quick, get a tire put on there. Right as this bloke was turning up, so that's what it is. He's been just sent in to try it, right? Just like this front, front axle is right. That's going all the way in. I want a little tiny nut to go to there. Do them up. I'm hoping that with those done up, that would be the front axle sorted. I haven't got as much done today as I wanted to. I want to get the bulk of this done if I could. So that's what it is. This little pond has been sat in my uh, in my shed for far too long. Let's get this one done up. I know the mate Luke's been itching to get his Honda back so he can do the little lawns, especially in the current current climate where um, you know people are trying to earn money. Make sure that all goes where it should do. Higher setting, lower setting. That's good. Right, quick tidy up and put it back on its wheels. And that's how we're looking so far. Three wheels. Oh, how it should do. Height adjustment will work for the back and on the front also. Super happy with that. Actually goes up relatively high. To be fair, for a little tiny. I like the Hollands because you can put them right on the, on the highest set them right up the top here too. Um, but that's where it should be. So next I'm gonna put the engine on, put the blade on, and then it should just be the arms to do next. Now no guarantee this engine's actually gonna run. Um, because he has uh, it has been off for a little while. 
let me fish it out. Let me fish it out. All the way back here. And I'm hoping the blade adapter is going to fit on this. Don't worry, I'll be getting a nice big clean before we uh, put it all on. Let me find the engine bolts to that. There's my little jug gone, there it is. And this is the engine that, that was looped originally. Uh, I'm missing the engine bolts. Missing the engine bolts because I didn't take the engine off the other one, did I? That's why. So in here, I will have complete set of bolts for the engine because I took them off the other one and they should be 13 mils possibly them three I'll go with let me get my little bucket in fact I'll get the axle stand that's what I got it for me and mate Jace give me that knock that engine too far back and tipping it over. I'm just conscious not to scratch the paint, so you paid a lot of money for this. The other two to put in yet. Let's get two sort of lined up. You're doing a bit of a winner. So this engine hasn't been run for about three months. In fact, there might be four engine bolts on this Honda. Some do have four. Double check, what's I'm doing? One about there somewhere. Yeah, I think I do. Uh, do I have a spare bolt? Yes, I do. Wipe the road back just about there. Right, let me wind them up, secure the engine down, put the blade on, all that sort of good stuff. And then I'll come back to you once the blade's on. Right, that's the, uh, the blade on now. All done. I'm super happy with that so far. Now this isn't actually in for service. I don't think, I don't think you want me to service it. I don't think, I think money was a bit tight. It was just start the season. I don't know how the field was doing. Yeah, it, could do, it could do with a service. I'll have to let him know. That's, that. that's up to him. He just wants to be working all that, but we shall see. Right, let me spin this round. Uh, hand was on next. That's where we're going next. So this this option is not not a cheap option. However, it certainly is if you're looking to prolong the life of a lawnmower, because this option will cost you just for the deck alone will cost you a um, hundred pounds. The decks you can get off of eBay for around about 100 quid. Just make sure you get the right one. So handle can go on now. Because the pin is separate for, um, for the back flap. Get a bit excited about telling me he's got it back now. As I say, it's just been taking up a bit of room in my shop for a little while. This has. Hopefully, it'll start for him. If it don't, then 
even more cost. I don't. I don't think you could. You could take that right now. Do the best we can do. I've got to put a flap on next. Uh, what is this? This is a handlebar that come off of the one I purchased because it, the other one won't fit. It'd be too big. Right, grass flaps now on, and the box is now on. Just want to now rig up this um, throttle control system. I need one of them trolleys. That's what I need. Right, set that a choke all the way forward. All the way back on there. Stick all that together. Now someone was asking me the other week, how do you set a carburetor? And it's very simple. You just you just set it to choke at the top on the on the lever. Take the uh, box off, air filter cover off, put your cable in, we just put it in loosely, and then the flap inside here needs to be pulled back or forward, depends on the mower, so that the flap is closed. Once it's all the way closed and it's set up there and it's pulled back here, you can then do that up. Once that's done up, that is that choke then set, and so that's now choked here, choked there and choked there. This flap is now closed, off choke, half open, or all the way onto idle, lovely. Back onto choke, fully choked. And that's how you do that. Very simple, very straightforward. Um, dead man's wire. There's on there, HTD on. Do you know by Joe? I think we're there, by Joe, by Joe. There's no fuel in it, let's put some fuel in. So it's not in for a service. It's gonna need one at some point. That's a certainty. Hey, he's due. He hasn't been in all, all, all this year so far. That's it. All right, let's put some juice in. See if I can get this little motor run. And we'll go from there. Right, there's no guarantee this is going to start, but we'll have a go. Let's see what we can do. It looks better. <laughs> that means that it's going to run better. Let's try it back there. On the choke. I want to sort the pull cord out. Let's turn the fuel on that way out. Try and turn a fuel on. There she goes. All right, let's see what happens. Let me shorten that up for a start. Go on, baby. For a bit, give it two or three minutes just to warm up. It's not been run for about three months. So if it runs and idles, as 
it should do. Ticks over, squeezing up. No hunting, no nothing. Honda is he done um, and I'm sort of glad to see the back of it in certain ways because it's just been sat in the corner there sort of waiting to be done and so I had a deck for it it's, it's, it wasn't going to happen so I'm glad I got a deck done um, deck came in I bought a deck yesterday and got it in today and within two or three hours it's been done so Luke should now be super happy just sent a little video clip of it so hopefully he'll be super chuffed and come pick it up as soon as he can if this is your first time in watching Mixed Mowers, hit the old subscribe button and whack the old bell. Set notifications to all and that way you'll be told either one, I've released another video or two, I'm on my Saturday night weekly live stream which starts at 6 o'clock at UK time. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big old thumbs up, um, show your appreciation, it helps all the growth of my channel. Any comments you've got, stick them down below, you know where to put them and I'll try and reply to all my comments best I can. Also, on the top pinned comment, you'll find my Amazon wish list. Feel free to buy me any tools, spares or bits and pieces for my channel. It helps me along my journey, I'll be much, much appreciated. I um, hope you enjoyed the video, hope you did enjoy it. I look forward to seeing it on the next episode of Mixed Mouse very, very soon. And two people, don't forget, more importantly, take her easy.